Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. The Austin 2025 Major was a roller coaster. So many upsets, so many underdogs defying the odds. It felt like one of the most unpredictable majors in recent history, even though the ending was a little predictable. And then a thought got in my head. What are the biggest upsets in Counter-Strike Majors history? I'm not talking about feel or your own memory, but based on real and cold data. So I did what any reasonable CS nerd would do. I spent the last few weeks working on a project. I develop a Python web scraper that gathers information on every single game from every major or any event in CS history. But I didn't just want to show you the upset matches. I wanted to rank them. To do that, I created what I call the upset score. It is a formula I created to assign each match a score, calculating precisely how much of an upset it actually was. Before diving into the data, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Clash.gg. The summer has come in Clash.gg. Open cases, play case battle with your friends, and have fun with tiles and crash to multiply your balance. This summer, by just playing, you get pitch balls that can be spent on opening special cases with special prizes, entering raffles, and climbing the leaderboard for extra rewards. You can even start for free. Sign up with the code FAKEDUCK to get 3 free cases, no deposit needed. And don't forget about RAIN, where you get free balance every 30 minutes, just be online to grab it. Deposits are easy, you can use crypto, credit cards, or CS2 skins. And withdrawals are also easy in crypto or skins. Click the link in the description, use the code FAKEDUCK, and good luck. So, how does this upset score work then? Well, let me tell you. It is not as straightforward as one team being ranked lower than the other. There are some significant factors that can be taken into consideration into the calculation. It considers the ranking difference between the teams and assign multipliers based on the context of the match. The stage that it happened, if the result broke a winning streak of the favorite team, if it was a regional breakthrough, a major final, among others. With the final formula, I could finally see the results. If we analyze the CSV file without calculating the upset score and ranking all the matches by the ranking difference between the winner team and the losing team, we will discover that the first place is the match between Complexity and NRG in the IM Katowice 2019 during the Swiss stage. Both teams were 0 and 2 and all the odds were against Complexity, who had been losing a lot even before the major. NRG at the moment was ranked 4th in the world, while Complexity was 41. To understand why Complexity was so low ranked at the time, we need to roll back to September 2018, 5 months earlier. Complexity was ranked 14 on HLTV, had just ended up top 10 in the London Major. But a place, it's going to be a 3 from the top, but there's a crossfire for the CGs. They've got plays on a high ground in two directions, and this just might be enough. Shocks with 3 HP, and a 1 versus 4 with 15 seconds, not this time, 16 to 11. Complexity with the upset, it has to be said, over G2. And won the ECS Season 6 North America. After that, the team stopped winning. They were eliminated from the ESL Pro League North America without winning a single match, benched Ye and Android, changed coaches, and hired Nothing and Ricky to play for the Katowice Major. All of these changes, combined with the lack of results, caused the team to drop from 14th to 41 in the rankings. This made the win against NRG even more impressive. A 37 rank difference. A big upset on the history of Counter-Strike Majors. Complexity ended up winning the match 2-0 with a great performance from Stanislaw who dropped a 45 bomb on Nuke. That shot, I don't think you're going to have to take that, but he will be baited out. Daps looking to deny the plant here. It's low HP Shazam, one of those bullets connects, it's all done, but at this oh stage Zerg might be out of the round and Molotovs being a little bit awkward at this stage, but the shots aren't. It's going to be Stanislaw that recovers it. Oh, and for curiosity's sake, 2019 Complexity is the lowest ranked team ever to compete on a major, being ranked 41 at the time. Another cool trivia I discovered was that, consider all the majors in history, only three times out of 22 major grand finals, we had an upset in the grand final, where the winner was ranked lower than the losing team. The matches were 
Navi versus FaZe in the 2024 Copenhagen Major with a 5 rank difference, Gambit versus Immortals in the 2017 Krakow Major with a 3 rank difference, and Cloud9 versus FaZe in the Boston Major 2018 with 3 ranks difference. And the latter is at third place in our upset score ranking. Even though the ranking difference between Cloud9 and FaZe was not big, the context of the match must be considered. The history was shocking. FaZe, the rank 2 in the world, was expected to win with a starting lineup of Guardian and Olaf Meister, while Cloud9, ranked 5th place, had only recently rebuilt its roster. By defeating FaZe, Cloud9 became the first North American team to win a major, giving North America its first major crown. Maybe a problem, but they've got Rush in the graveyard position. 28 seconds now, and Olaf Meister might try to pull rotation. He's the only man on Banana. Rush with an off angle, looking towards the uh, apt position. The Molotov comes in, but so does the rotation. Olaf Meister, though, has been taken out towards the B bomb site. But out automatics going towards A. Nothing else is going on. He's got to go back. Stewie's on his own. But look at the time. Look at the time. There's seven seconds of blood bomb. They're trying to build pyramids, but there's no more play. Stewie's oh! won the round. We go to overtime. They came back all the way! All the way! The ranking difference, summed up with the original breakthrough in the stage of a grand final, gave Cloud9 the third place with an upset score of 87 points. Champions! In second place, we have a very recent one, Legacy vs Vitality. Not even the most crazy Brazilian fan could expect that win. Vitality, Legacy. Could Legacy win a game here? No. <laughs> it's true. Vitality was ranked first and riding a 30 match plus win streak across tournaments. Legacy was a low seed that barely made the legend stage and barely made it into the major even. They're not supposed to be here, the team that isn't supposed to be in the major. This loss forced Vitality into the lower Swiss bracket and ended their historic streak. Erops going down with the next and look at them on their feet as they take down the best team in the world. It should be Vitality. Community reaction was astonishment. It was a widely called one of the biggest upsets in modern CS2 majors. Even though it was during the Swiss stage, the insane ranking difference, 20, plus the breaking of Vitality's huge winning streak, gave Legacy the second place with 90 points. And in first place, we're gonna have the match between Gamer Legion and Heroic for the semi finals of the 2022 Blast TV Paris Major. The result of this match was a monumental upset, a classic David vs. Goliath story in the world of Counter Strike. Heroic, the number 2 ranked team in the world was overwhelming favorite to advance to the final, while Gamer Legend was an international underdog squad that had fought tooth and nail through the earlier stages of the tournament, being ranked 22 in the HLTV ranking on the beginning of the competition. The best of 3 series unfolded with high drama across 3 maps. The match started on Gamer Legion's map pick and they came out swinging. They put up a formidable offensive half leading 10 to 5. However, Heroic demonstrated why they were the top ranked team, mounting a near flawless offensive comeback of their own to grind out a 16 to 13 victory and take a 1-0 lead in the series. Man, Gamer Legion has been surprising this entire event. Every stage that we've played, they have been a surprise and they're doing it once more here, showing a little bit of fight right at the end of the day. In this moment, everyone was sure that Heroic would win the series, but they forgot to tell Gamer Legion. On Heroic's pick of Inferno, the match was incredibly tense. Back and forth affair. Neither team could build a significant lead. The pivotal moments came late in the map, when Gamer Legion's Isaac won a crucial 1 vs 2 clutch situation to secure the map 16 to 14, tying the series 1-1 and forcing a decider. And keep the semi-final alive. Isaac, he's got some health left on him as well, but the reload right on top. 
Hold the phone. Hold on. They're trying to get the bomb plant down. Ima getting blown up, and Isaac, he gets the... On the final map, Mirage, the momentum had completely shift. Gamer Legion, hyped by their win on Inferno, put on a dominant performance. They established a commanding 10-5 lead on the attacking side and quickly closed out the map 16-6 on the second half, completing the stunning upset. The victory was largely powered by an incredible performance from Gamer Legion's Romanian rifler, Ima, who was the best player in the server by a significant margin, finishing the series with 73 kills. And there's nothing to do! Game Legion with a legendary run to make the grand finals of the final major in CSGO! Game Legion's historic win propelled them into the grand final of the last ever CSGO major, cementing their run as one of the most memorable Cinderella stories in the game's history. Stunning the Counter-Strike world! What a road for this team to take to get here! Considering the huge ranking difference, 20, the regional breakthrough not only for the team but for the players too, in the semi-final stage of the major, gave Gamer Legion the first place in the ranking with an upset score of 96 points. No one's believed in us guys, and here we are because we believe in each other, we believe in every situation that we can win. We're going for the win, we are going for the win. We can do this! Look at this! Gamer! Yeah.